Before beginning to work with Microsoft Excel worksheets, we should have the basic knowledge of the various components of any worksheet. The fundamental building block of any worksheet is the cell. The cell is created by the intersection of rows and columns. The vertical lines form the columns and the horizontal lines form the rows. The intersection of each such row or column creates a cell. These cells are the fundamental blocks in which data can be stored. This data can be text, numbers, formulas, attributes or functions. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to insert data in such texts, selecting the texts, rows, columns, performing copy, cut and paste functions, deleting cells, dragging and dropping functions in the cell, and using the fill handle to fill the cells. So, let's begin. As I have told, the cell is formed by the intersection of rows and columns. To select any cell, we will have to click on that particular cell. When we select that cell, the cell gets highlighted with the boundary which is black in color since each such cell is created by the intersection of rows and columns, it has a particular address. The rows in Microsoft Excel are numbered and the columns are lettered. For example, this particular cell is created by the intersection of the column D and the row 3. So, its address will be T3. This address is shown in the address bar which is located on the top left side of the window. This box is also known as the name box. For selecting multiple cells besides a single cell, click on the handle on the bottom right corner of the cell and drag the mouse button up to the cell that you want to select more than one cells, click and hold on the cell from where you want to begin and then drag the mouse pointer up to the cell that you want to select. Release the mouse button when you have selected the desired cells. Now let's talk about entering data in the cell. In these cells, you can enter text, formatting attributes, comments, formulas and functions. Let's enter a simple text in this cell, D3. Weekdays Notice that when we have entered the text in this particular cell, it has also appeared in this bar. This is the formula bar, which can also be used for entering data in the particular cell. We will talk about this bar in a short while in detail. To understand and learn the functions of Microsoft Excel, Let's create a small table which contains the weekdays, months and the holidays that are in the particular month. To understand the various functions of Microsoft Excel, let's create a database of employees in a company. We will have the employee name, employee ID, the 
the date of joining. and the date of birth. Let's name a few employees. This is a small example of the database of employees in a company. We will learn about some functions of Microsoft Excel by performing them on this database. The first function that we will learn about is copying and pasting text. Suppose we also have to enter the salary details of each of these employees. We will make a separate column for the salary details. Suppose each of these employees has the same salary of 20,000 rupees. Now, instead of rewriting this data in every cell, we can copy and paste by using the copy and paste command. Select the cell for copying the particular data. First, select the cell from where you want to copy the data. We have already selected the particular cell. Now, click on the copy button to copy the data. Notice when you copy the data, the boundary of the particular cell changes. Then select the cells where you want to paste the data. We want to paste the data in these two particular texts. You can now paste the data by clicking on the paste button in the home tab or pressing the Ctrl plus V buttons. We have successfully pasted the data in the required positions. The same process can be performed using cut and paste options. The only difference that will be that instead of using the copy button, we will press the cut button or control plus X buttons on the keyboard.